Yeah, it's actually a beautiful church, this. Church open. I don't know if there's gonna be anyone inside. I'm gonna leave it recording just in case. It's actually St. John's Church. Hello? It's open, but there's nobody here. This is the font. The lid of the font. These are the signs that they used to, the lights are on in here and I'm not gonna to attempt to turn them on. Um, I suppose I could do if I wanted to. The light switches are over there, but I don't think so. I think we'll just have a walk around. We've got the old pews, obviously. And we've got some plaques on the walls. Let's have a look who we've got down here. This plaque is for Cyril Brook. This plaque marks 80 years of devoted service to this church, 60 years on the PCC, 44 years as church warden. Oh, bless. Okay, so we've got Vernon Sykes here, a founder member of Ormforth ADS and beloved member of this church. This church is beautiful. I can't believe it. it's just open, but then I can because that's what used to happen. We've got the first of the uh, stained glass windows. This church hasn't got many stained glass windows, but we've got one here. In memory of James Charlesworth, born 1797 and died 1877. Jesus on a donkey there, or a noise. These, look at these everybody, what are these? What are they? Just poles, they, they seem to slip out though. Maybe there's what they carried those things on. And then we've got another plaque here. Alice Tinker who died June 1934, wow. Many years leader of the Mother's Union in this Paris, erected by her son. Amazing. We're going to go and have a look at the top, the altar, shortly. We've got a plaque over here, everyone. You know, I love my church plaques. This is to the glory of God and the memory of John William Jeffreys. Jeffrey, J-E-F-F-E-R-Y, priest, vicar of this parish from 1881 to 1909. This tablet was erected by his parishioners in 1912. <clears throat> oh, the area must be called Upper Thong. I've never heard of that before, unless that's out of another church. And then we've got another plaque on the wall over here, which is brass, I think. And it says, I hope you can see this, everyone, but I'll read it. In memory of the infant children of John and James, Dorothy Charlesworth, who's remain to interred in the old burial ground in Home Firth. Well, that's where we've just been. And this window is unfortunately, I can't read it. 
should have put the lights on really, but I didn't want to. Churches don't have enough money as it is. And um, with the cost of everything going up, I didn't want to add to that. So this is probably a really dark and uninspiring video for you. I'm sorry if it is, but I think you can understand where I'm coming from. And then we're going to make our way. <gasps> we're on our own. Hey? I knew she'd frighten me of coming in. <laughs> this is the... Well, you can't really see anything, unfortunately. But this area should be a bit better. Um, the sacred memory of Elizabeth, wife of Nathan Thulis of Lane House in this parish, who died 1870. Also, the above Nathan Thulis. He died 1875. I'll find out what Nathan and Elizabeth did in life. You've got two angels up there and then the big stained glass window. Oh, the lights have come on. Oh, is that you? These are written that they, ye might believe that Jesus the Christ, Son of God, that believed in ye might have life through his name, St. John, which is the name of the church. I like that top bit there, that Jesus bit. And this is the final bit before we leave. In affectionate remembrance of Richard Bower of Carried Terrace, Carfield Terrace, born 1796, died 1870. And finally, erected by... Daughter. Erected by their daughter in love and memory of Henry Whittingham Tinker, Tinkers are over there as well. Right. Uh, of Meal Hill, Hepworth, and Ashgrove, who died on the 28th of December, 1899. You know that year, 1899, for some reason, I'm obsessed with that year. Right. I don't know why. And of his wife, Jane, only daughter of William Gossard, Gossart of London, who died on 20th of November, 1930. Oh. Might be a year where a lot of buildings were erected. No, there was, there was, yeah, there, there's, it just seems to feature quite heavily a lot. And I actually did some research, you know, on, um, and I'd still need to do the video, but I need to find my bloody research because I've put it somewhere. But there's a video, um, sorry, there's um, some paperwork that I found, the Chariton Cemetery, and it listed the causes of death for the people in there. And there were like people who had committed suicide and, um, yeah, in 1899. That was the year. Um, yeah, everyone. I mean, there was one woman in particular who'd thrown herself into the river and drowned herself. Yeah, not nice. You know, not not nice, but don't you think it's fabulous that they're comfortable enough to leave the church open for people to come and pray? Right, everybody. That's the end of today's. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, well, this is it. But it's the end of today's video, everybody. Um, I will come back and do the cemetery. We'll see who's what. I imagine most of the people that I've just mentioned inside the church are buried. Well, some are in the old cemetery where we went to that belongs to the Great Dane now. It's his garden. What was he called? Rufus? Can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> the guy. Uh... Okay. Anyway, me and Lou are starting to flag now. We've had a big meal. We have fl flagged a bit an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> so I think she's going to get Chris up, Blower. We'll uh, we'll meet Chris. I'll head back off to Barnsley and we'll get our videos up for today at some point. Yeah, and yeah. It'll be a good one to see what we've done. So anyway, thanks very much for watching, everybody. And I'll see you in... Oh, tomorrow I'm going to bake a loaf. Ooh, I'm going to go to... Nice. Yeah, I'm going to go to Worsborough Mill and I'm going to buy some of the flour that the mill there. All right. And I'm going to make a, make a, make a loaf. That so, yeah, right. Don't go down about the same way you come, will you? Not going down that, yeah, no, not doing that, no. Jesus Christ, no. <laughs> Scared me, that. Right, everybody, see you soon.